There's something disturbing in our community, something that's wrecking Kiwi lives, causing kids to go hungry and businesses to fail. It brings debt, crime, violence and despair. It attacks our families, our friends and our neighbours. And it's out there, right now. Coming up next. No, we do have men coming along as well. In fact, our new um, sponsor, Suzuki, has got a lot of beautiful cars and motorbikes here. So certainly, uh, they're not all women. And frankly, where else can boys go where there's going to be over 20,000 women all in one place? So we do get some boys coming along as well. I think the most important thing is that, of course, it's a time for people to come together to celebrate as families with children, being together in a fun atmosphere, but hearing really important messages about yes. being violence-free. Profiting from their addictions and consumption and use their strengths to empower themselves and ask for help. It's all right to ask for help when you need it. Awareness of the issues that are affecting their families individually. Not every family has the same problem, but it's also very important that we learn to speak up and get help. Mm. We ask for help from the different agencies that are out there to offer help to them. Next week. I hope, you know, Beijing um, brings in gold for me. I, I've been training bloody hard for it and um, it's, um, you know, it, I want to do better than what I did in Athens, so there's only one step up from that. Um, anything can happen, but uh, I'm going to give it everything. 9,461. The number of businesses in the Central Business District. 78,480. The number of people who work in those businesses. Yes, we've had a great year, Kamal. We've had lots of people, over 20,000 women through the gate this weekend to our eighth Girls' Day Out, and every year it gets bigger and better. Like, since how many years you've been having this event? Well, this is the eighth year that we've been doing the event, so as I say, every year we grow bigger and we try different things, and this year's been very successful. Like, what exactly necessitated holding such an event? I mean, how did it all start up? Well, it started over eight years ago, um, and we wanted an expo just for women, uh, because there was nothing else like that out there. And so we put together a show which involved um, all the things that women love, which is shopping, entertainment, fashion, food, lifestyle, beauty. Um, so it's not just um, like an expo where you would pop along for a couple of hours. Most of the women who come to Girls' Day Out come and spend at least four hours, or, or spend the day even, because there's so much to do and so much to see and so much to buy. So. Uh, then what exactly are the aims and aspirations at your end of holding such an event? We want to provide um, a great opportunity for women to go out and enjoy themselves and find everything that women love all in one place. And we have a lot of visitors who come back every year and look forward to it every year because they know that they're going to find all those things at the event and that every year they'll find something new as well. I mean, like, is it a predominantly women uh, event or...? No, we do have men coming along as well. In fact, our new um, sponsor, Suzuki, has got a lot of beautiful cars and motorbikes here. So certainly, uh, they're not all women. And frankly, where else can boys go where there's going to be over 20,000 women all in one place? So we do get some boys coming along as well. I see. So it's a fun place for the families? Definitely. A lot of families come here. Mm -hmm. And 
this year stands out in some ways, I mean in a marked way. Uh, could you just point out those uh, small uh, changes that yes. one gets to invariably see over a period of time? Yes, we have a new, um, a couple of new properties in the show this year. We've got an enhanced kitchen area and food zone. We've got a mature detour area, which is um, a, just a small R18 area where we have a few um, cocktails and that sort of thing going on. We've got a new pamper lounge, which is um, a new product this year, where women can go in, have a little taste of champagne and book in and have a treatment and have their nails done or a makeover. That's been extremely popular. Um, we've got a mother's room where um, mums can go with their babies and small children just to sit down, um, take the weight off their feet, feed their babies, change nappies, that sort of thing, which has been very popular. Um, we've got wonderful shows on the fashion stage and entertainment. Lots of bands playing this year, which is um, uh, something that we've slightly changed on the entertainment stage. Besides our fashion shows, we also have entertainment. We've got the netball court, um, where the girls can go and shoot the hoops and win prizes. and. Yeah, that that's, um, pretty much covers all the events, the new ones that we've got this year. How different is it going to be next year? Well, um, this year even the um, showgrounds, the ASB showgrounds, has been completely renovated and there's a lot more space. Um, it's not crowded at all like it used to be in the past, so all of our customers have got room to move, um, which is, makes for a much more pleasant experience for everybody and with the air conditioning as well. And plans are already underway for a big event next year in 2009. So would that be a little bit extended or is it still going to be a three day affair? Still three days, yep, yeah, and probably in March. We haven't um, confirmed the dates yet, but there definitely will be in March 2009. Something disturbing in our community, something that's wrecking Kiwi lives, causing kids to go hungry and businesses to fail. It brings debt, crime, violence and despair. It attacks our families, our friends and our neighbours. And it's out there, right now. <laughs> 